Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 4th, 2021. Happy New Year everybody. So what are we getting into? We are getting into uh, rest, <laughs> okay? I feel, I, I think that's typical of every year. You know, we have so much going on, but especially this past year, we're really having to decompress, regain our sense of self because that sense of self has been challenged, um, a sense of our place in the world because that has also been challenged. And don't be afraid to give your heart a break here and, and to just rest and rejuvenate and to spend time with your loved ones. Or if you are somebody who goes through life solo, that's awesome too. You know, you're just enjoying that alone time. And be getting out into nature if you can. If it's too cold out, never mind. <laughs> but like, you know, do what you can to just detox. I think that's really the thing. Again, that's not a surprising message because we all kind of go through that. If you've had too many cookies or whatever. I know in my family, we always make uh, homemade candy uh, around the holidays. And so <laughs> it always ends up in the freezer by January. And every time I look at it, I'm sort of quivering. I'm like, oh, I can't take any more, you know, kind of thing. But this feels like an energetic cleansing as well and a detox so if you have been really stressed about finances the past couple of weeks might have made you even more so um, and, and really questioning where the future is going and really you're being asked to not you know put worry into that don't put stress into that because things need to fall into place before you have your answers okay does that make sense so Okay, I just heard heart disease. I don't know what that's, I have no idea. I don't know if that's out, I don't know. <laughs> um, usually that has something to do with the heart chakra, but I just heard heart disease. So if you are somebody out there who does have issues with that, or even if you don't, just be very mindful of that. I don't know why that came up, so I'm gonna leave it with you guys, but there could be something that does affect the heart. So, and it does feel like it's on a wide scale. So I don't know if that's metaphorical and energetically it affects our hearts or if something is discovered, I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to see how that plays out. But just be careful, make sure you're opening that heart space and breathing into that, that, that center there and be connected there, yes? All right, so I'm seeing coins dropping, coins. But people are uneasy with it. People don't feel right about it. They don't get it, right? Um, and yet there are these people out there who are like, no, seriously, trust us. This is going to be a much better way. And um, I, I feel uncomfortable with it. I feel very uncomfortable with it because it is, we're still in the space of who, who can we trust? How do we know this, you know, whatever group of people that's trying to help us understand a certain whatever Maybe around finances, how do we know we can trust them? And how do we know to trust to not trust these people or whatever? So there's a lot of just confusion and fog and not feeling centered, not feeling grounded. And that's where we all have to kind of come in here and remember that it's not about just the externals. We have to be connected on the inside, okay? So there's that uh, something around school systems. There's controversy around school systems controversy around uh, school administrators Whew. again be careful with the kids and what they're being exposed to make sure they're being cared for and uh, I wonder huh, I wonder if it's about homeschooling or something because it still affects how kids are learning um, and then there's this other thing that's coming and that's trying to help kids learn but People don't like that either. It's like whatever we're being asked to adjust to, people are trying to come up with solutions and we're going, mm, no, no, don't want that. I don't know about that. I don't really get that. Like that's too different. And really it's because our batteries are on empty. We've been asked to take in so much and to understand so many different things that it just doesn't even feel right anymore. You know, it's like, uh, stop. You know, I just, I can't think about this anymore. I don't want to go down that road or whatever, okay? So again, don't be afraid to give yourselves this chance to just kinda <laughs> lay low, chill out a little bit, and even out. 
let's get on to the cards. All right. So if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Check out all of my material over at gumroad.com. All that information is down below. And if you like what you're seeing, please make sure that you are subscribed. It really helps me out a lot. So let's see what we have going on for us. Coming into 2021. Mm. Be careful of thinking that 2021 is going to be the escape. Because that's going to stun a lot of people when they come in and say more of this. More. I don't think it's going to be the same stuff that we went through in 2020, uh, 2020 in 2021. But there's still going to be challenges. And people, a lot of people are in this mindset of like, you know, haven't we gone through enough? Um, we shouldn't have to be challenged anymore. And that's just not how life is. It's just not how life is. Okay, so here we go. We have <laughs> a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So again, there's some reconnection here with people. And this, you know what this feels like? It feels like people spending time with their loved ones. Now, if you are single, maybe not for long, okay? Maybe not for long because I think this is where people are starting to really value that human connection and saying, you know, it's time for me to open my heart. It's time for us to have a healthy relationship. It's time for us to uh, have a fresh start. Again, whether you're single and you find somebody or you're in a relationship and you um, are working through whatever it is that you want to work through, there's a new romantic cycle here. Again, because of what we have learned, we've learned that the priority should be in heart connection, okay? In love. All right, the answers you need are coming. I feel like we keep getting this card. <laughs> this is a full moon in Gemini. So slowly but surely, things are coming up to the surface. We're having our realizations. This isn't just about people telling us what to think or what to believe, but we're learning how to do that for ourselves. So the answers are coming from within you. It's coming from your own wisdom. Now, does that mean that you go out and you challenge everybody else's answer and say, no, my guides say, oh God, that's so cringy when people say, my guides say, blah. Well, your guides are guiding you and no one else. As a matter of fact, you're not supposed to go against human free will. So even going out there and trying to, you know, push your answers onto someone else, not going to work. Okay. But your answers are going to come from within you. Just make sure you're very, very healthy minded and heart centered. Take time to breathe out. This keeps coming up too. This keeps coming up too. Take time to breathe out disseminating moon. It is time to rest. It is time to exhale. It doesn't mean that the challenges are over. It just means that you need to get ready. All right. Ready for a new way of feeling, thinking, being, showing up. People are going to be scrambling going, what's my purpose? What's my purpose? What's my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? You're supposed to breathe out and not be pushing. Do not be pushing right now. Okay. Yeah. Think of this as like being on dry land before you have to sail out again. Okay. So give yourself this chance and whatever upheaval is going on, whatever topsy-turvy arguments, you know, all of that stuff that could be going on. And people getting angry and not being kind to one another. Whatever people are screaming about, you breathe out. Breathe out. You be the generator of peace. And that is done quietly and with authenticity. All right. So then we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Again, you're completely changing how you approach everything and how you see everything, that perspective is going to open up and you're going to realize like everything can be done with joy. Okay. Now, again, there could be a lot of people out there acting up because we're very split and divided now. 2021 is going to, we're going to see that all the changes. You're going to have the people who refuse to change and the people who um, are trying to change and they're getting self-righteous about it. And so they're telling the people who don't want to change that you're wrong and, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff, you know, let's not fight. Let's not fight. Let's not give in to the disruption. Let's not give in to the distortion. All right. Your dreams are changing and they're going to need a practical plan. So this is getting your head out of the clouds a little bit here. All right. And figuring out, again, you're reassessing what your priorities are and making new choices from there. Let's get a color card here.
yeah, and there's going to be challenges. There's going to be people, there are going to be people trying to pull you off course, trying to get you to see things their way. Doesn't mean you have to be stubborn, but we don't, you know, if somebody's trying to speak to you in a peaceful, beautiful way, that's one thing. But if they're just trying to scare you and intimidate you into thinking their way, don't give in. All right. Protect yourself, but don't give in. We have two cards kind of sticking out, so we're going to take two for this week. Uh, first we have Jade, take action. The number is 32, 32 is five. So again, the number of change. Take action does not mean necessarily outward action. It means taking action to heal your heart. To Your action is right here and being in your heart and breathing in and out, in and out, in and out. And letting that peace flow through you so that you are a generator of peace. And then we have yellow, purify your body. The number is 22, striking a balance. Again, we're in that kind of detox mode, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. If you have gone down a road uh, of spiritual practice that is all about energy manipulation just to get what you want, whether it hurts somebody or not, ooh, you know, like it, that was never a good idea, okay? But we're now realizing that there's a better way and it emanates from the light within us, all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.